Hey, it's Carrie Flatlett here for this week's Friday Fire at Remax Real Estate Lethbridge and CarrieFlatlett.com. So, home inspections. You might be familiar with my pre-approval lecture and for 2022, I think it's time we introduce the home inspection lecture. I'm still seeing this mistake all the time, even with veteran real estate agents in a hot seller's market. and. Oh, it's so unnecessary, the drama, the drama, the drama of home inspections. The big mistake that's being made, and I think it's a misunderstanding of how realtors provide value to their home buyer clients, and this ain't it. Home inspection turns up some nitpicky things that are, you know, common to all resale transactions. There is always going to be findings in the home inspection. I've never seen a resale home have a 100% perfect home inspection report, like ever. I haven't even seen a builder home have a perfect home inspection, but that's for another video. So $100 repairs, a couple of them turn up on the home inspection. The realtor puts on their cape and says, I'll get this dealt with and goes to the listing agent and they start hammering on them about these nitpicky things with the house. Now, when you decided to make an offer on that house, you knew it was not a brand new house. It would not be perfect. And I hope your realtor explains to you and points out to you some of the imperfections or potential imperfections in that home based on the age, the wear and tear and that kind of thing, knowing that we're not a home inspector. So, that is not providing good service or advice by advising you, the home buyer, all the ways that you can hammer on that homeowner about all the nitpicky imperfections of their home. Like it's not gonna go over well. And we're in a seller's market right now, so on top of that, the seller probably is gonna tell you to pound sand, for lack of a better way of putting it. And even if it was a soft market, why would you want to throw that dark cloud over the transaction? You want to come to win-win agreements throughout the deal until closing date with that homeowner. Okay, so you're not winning anything by getting a $100 repair looked after unless it's somehow threatening the security of the home. So there's only two reasons for a home inspection. Number one is to educate yourself about the product that you're buying. A good home inspector will do a very thorough walkthrough with the buyer through the property after they've done their home inspection, after, not during, to explain all of the systems in the house, maintenance programs you should expect to do when you take ownership of the house, how things work, the type of furnace you have, the type of roofing you have, that kind of thing. Makes sense, right? That's good value because there's a lot going on in a home and a good home inspector really helps you understand that and they'll provide an awesome written report that you can keep for reference going forward. The second reason to have a home inspection is risk mitigation. So they can't open up the walls. There's certain things and limitations home inspectors will explain to you before they do their, their inspection but it's to uncover any unexpected serious issues with the home, like really serious issues, super expensive issues that could be a deal breaker as to whether or not you wanna buy that home. You can, through your realtor, try to negotiate those problems away with the listing agent and the seller client. Just know the seller is not obligated to do anything at all. Okay, so playing nice actually will get you somewhere. You know, it's important. A good buyer's agent knows what to negotiate and when to let sleeping dogs lie. Does that make sense? They're trying to get you the best value for the money. But nitpicking little maintenance issues, that's, that's not really a sign of a great realtor. It's about putting things in perspective and deciding what matters and what doesn't, okay? Getting the best overall value for that home. So education about the home you're buying and looking for any serious unexpected issues. 
$100 repair, no, that's not a serious unexpected issue. So that's my home inspection lecture for 2022. In future videos, we'll talk about other strategic things you can do with your home inspection condition, even in a hot seller's market, as well as how they factor into builder homes. So if you have any questions at all about home inspections or how those conditions work in a real estate deal, you can call or text me at 382-7335 or look us up at carryflatwood.com. In the meantime, have a terrific weekend, and we'll see you for next Friday Fire. Take care.